If you're ready to have an unstoppable summer, here are 10 things you need in your wardrobe. So let's dive right in. Hello, fashionista. I'm Nancy Queen, and I'm here to help you build a wardrobe full of clothes you love to wear so you love getting dressed every single day. And today we're talking about 10 essential wardrobe pieces for summer. Now, I've pulled together 10 essential pieces because by having these 10 pieces in your wardrobe, it will expand your wardrobe and multiply it so that you always have something to wear for just about every occasion. They're gonna take you through summer and really keep your wardrobe pulled together with lots of outfit options. So let's get into them right now. Number one on my list is a basic t-shirt. Now I love t-shirts because they are great for wearing by themselves, layering under jackets or blazers, pairing with shorts, skirts, jeans. And that's the thing about a little basic t-shirt. You can mix and match it with pretty much anything in your wardrobe. There are several basic t-shirt styles. There is the crew neck. And crew necks look great on a small to medium bust someone with broad shoulders, or someone with a long neck. V-neck. Choose a V-neck if you have a medium to large bust. Any shoulder width looks great in this tee. And if you have a short to medium length neck, it elongates your neck. And it's also great for apple, pear, and curvy body types. Scoop neck. All bust sizes can wear a scoop neck. But if you have a short or medium neck, this will elongate your look. And it's also great for a pear, petite, and curvy body type. And a bateau neck. Now a bateau neck can also be known as a boat neck tee. It's great from small to medium bust sizes, narrow shoulders, bulky arms, and it's great for a pear-shaped figure. Now those are the four basic ones and choose one that you love to wear that looks good on you. I'll list my favorite t-shirts in the description below as well as everything I talk about in this. I'm gonna add links in the description that you can check out. A white t-shirt is an essential part of my wardrobe as well as other colors as you've seen in some of my other videos. I love cute, solid, colorful tees. Now some of the things you're gonna look for in the tees, in addition to the fit that I just talked about, you, you're gonna want plain ones because if you go with solid colors, that's gonna give you more outfit options. They're comfortable, they're versatile. Most brands carry some variation of basic tees. They all have them everywhere you go. Talbot's has them, Old Navy has them, uh, Lily Pulitzer has them. Everyone has basic tees at various price points. So they're definitely something that you can bring into your wardrobe. So stick with some of your favorite brands for your t-shirts. Look for comfort, quality, and fit. Next, number two on my list are shorts and skorts. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you've probably seen me talking about my skorts and shorts in capsule wardrobes. I love them both. They're a vital part of my wardrobe. I love being able to pair them up with t-shirts, with little shirts, with linen blouses, with jean jackets. They're comfortable and they're great for wearing in the hot weather. So again, you're gonna look for quality pieces and you can add a print that has colors in some of those basic t-shirts you bought. It'll add a little pop to your wardrobe. Uh, definitely a place to really uh, have fun is with the skirts and shorts. Or you can buy solid colors and just mix and match them back with the shirts we just talked about. Number three on my list of essential pieces is a cane bag. Now I have this cane bag from Lily Pulitzer, but there are actually other cane bags that they carry as well as straw bags. And a lot of other brands carry uh, cane and straw bags as well. They might have been referred to as wicker or rattan, but I love these natural bags for summer. You can use them year after year. In fact, I have a friend, shout out to Lori, who I've known for, oh gosh, I've known her for well over 20 years. And she has one little bag that she brings out every summer. It's her little go out to dinner bag. I think of her every summer because she always carries it. And 
like I said, she's had it over 20 years. I'm sure she'll be able to tell me exactly how long she's had it, but a very long time. They don't go out of style. They stay in, look for a shape that's somewhat rigid as opposed to a slouchy shape because a little bit more structured shape will stay in style longer. And you'll be able to, if you, with proper care, bring it out year after year after year. And what I love about these little bags made out of natural fiber is that they look good with all of your summery linens and cottons and you don't have to switch out bags for the summer. You can just have your one bag, grab it and go because it's gonna go with everything you have. Number four on my list are jackets and blazers. Now, I don't wear too many blazers, but I do love my jackets. You could also do a neutral cardigan in place. So it could be jacket, blazer, or neutral cardigan. And you might be saying, Nancy, why do I want any of these things when it's 95 degrees out well you could be going in and out of air conditioning you just could need a little extra layer at times over your shoulders uh, sometimes after i eat i get cold and i need a little layer well another layer really helps for that so keep a neutral colored blazer jean jacket or cardigan around so that you are comfortable no matter where you're going. And they also layer in really well with jeans and skirts and shorts. They're just a good thing to have that you can just grab at any time to layer on. Number five on my list are linen shirts. Now these could be cotton as well, but linen is my go-to in the summer. I love how light and breathable it is. They really don't go out of style. You can wear them year after year after year. I have a collection, if you saw my button down shirt video, you'll know I have a collection of linen and button down shirts that I love to wear this time of year. I like to roll up the sleeves, even if it's hot out, I can roll up the sleeves on my shirt, still feel light, airy, comfortable, and it will go with so many things in my closet. They look cute with skirts, jeans, shorts, you name it, you can pair it. You can even wear them over top of bathing suits, just tie a little knot and you have a cute little quick cover up. So linen shirts are something I love. Um, this one I'm wearing is actually a linen shirt. I have it also in white, I love it so much. And then there are the button down shirts that I showed you in the video, as well as a tunic length, which would make a great beach cover up. And I just washed this, threw it in the dryer, hung it as soon as the dryer stopped so it wouldn't have a chance to wrinkle. I have not touched this at all. And look at how nice it looks. It's ready to go. If you like it super crisp, you can, of course, iron it. I like it to have kind of a coastal grandma look with, uh, which is very in right now, that just has a little bit of light airiness to it not look kind of like carefree linen shirts are a must-have in my essential wardrobe package so let's move on to the next one number six on my list is comfortable and chic sandals now you may be thinking flip-flops yay no flip-flops are great for the pool the beach um Pretty much that's it. Like, don't be wearing your flip flops. You know, I wear them when I go down to the water to go paddle boarding. That's about it with flip flops because they really dress down an outfit. Uh, you know, if you're at the lake, yes, you can have your flip flops on, but no, just like, let's elevate our style a little bit. If you wanna look pulled together, if you're going out to dinner, say no to the flip flops. Elevate it with a pair of chic yet comfortable sandals and your look will look much more elevated and pulled together if you switch out, make a switch of those flip flops into a nice pretty sandal. And they can still be flat. You know I love flats. They can still be flats. We're just gonna elevate it up a notch. Number seven on my list is another layering piece and you might not be surprised because I feel like I talk about this in almost every video. It's a wrap. I love wraps. So you wanna have a wrap around just because for the same reason you might be in and out of air conditioning. Let's say you have a wedding to go to and you need to dress up. Uh, 
and you don't want to put your blazer or jean jacket on no you're going to elevate it with a wrap so if you just keep this is my gold wrap it's a go-to for me i'll put a link to it in the description but it just elevates the look so if i'm at a wedding and i've got on my dress and it starts to get a little chilly in the evening i can just put my wrap on i've got a very finished look and yet I've got this nice layer that's keeping me warm, but I still look just as dressy for the event. It's great for wearing out to dinner, for brunch, or even, you know, if you're sitting outside and it's a little windy, this is great to have. And sometimes I'll wear it, if I'm wearing a jean jacket, I'll just put it around like this and wear it. I don't wanna cover up my microphone, just like this. And that also gives an elevated look too. I mean, I wouldn't wear it with a sleeveless shirt. I'd put a jacket over top, but it just gives you that extra layer for like a chilly morning, just so that you have it. It's an essential part of my wardrobe. And even though it's summer, it's a piece that I go to all year round. Number eight on my list are jeans. Of course, I love jeans. Now, whether you're talking about blue jeans or white jeans, you might've seen my recent video on white jeans. You can check it out right here. But I love a crisp white jean for summer because it really, look at how that pops the pink. It pops all the colors by having a nice crisp white jean and it always elevates your outfit as opposed to a blue jean. Yes, I think blue jeans are really nice and I do wear them, but white jeans, they just, for me, they are it for summer, especially with like a navy or even black that just looks so crisp and elevated and elegant and sophisticated. I can't talk enough about why I like white jeans for summer and blue jeans in general, definitely a must have for your summer wardrobe. Number nine on my list is activewear. Now, recently I did a whole video on my favorite activewear. You can check it out right here. I wear leggings, I wear little skirts, I wear athletic tops, and I keep them around because let's say, let's face it, summer is about having some fun. I like to be active, walk my dog, go outside, spend a lot of time outdoors. So having a few active wear pieces are really going to help give your wardrobe some longevity, some options. You won't be wondering what to wear if you're going hiking or walking with a friend, bicycle riding. You'll always have the clothes that you need if you make sure you have a few active wear pieces. And number 10 on my list, I recently asked most of you, what do you prefer to wear when it's really hot? And guess what your answer was right here? Dresses, of course, dresses are free and breezy and light and airy and you can be comfortable on the hottest days. So dresses are definitely an essential item that you need to have in your closet. I love wearing dresses in the summertime and you can go from prints to solids. I like having a few darker colors in like a black or navy in case I need them for a wedding or other some other special event. But I also like having fun dresses that are flowy and comfortable and pretty uh, for any other occasions that might come along or just to relax and do things around the house that day or meet a friend. A dress looks elevated and pretty and elegant. So make sure you add a few of those into your wardrobe. That is my roundup of 10 essential pieces you need in your wardrobe. Let me know what you think. Do you have any essential pieces I left out? Put them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.